Airsoft Clarkson back with another dog training book <laughs> review. And this, of course, I'm in my movie dog training genre of something. This is by Captain Haggerty, not as well known as some of the other people in the industry that I will talked about and I have talked about. Anyway, getting your dog to talk, impossible. I don't know what this is about at all. This is misleading title. It's uh, going down the wrong way, basically, as an academic linguist, which means I have been published academically and I have postgraduate degrees in linguistics. Uh, phonetically, structurally, this is impossible for a dog to, to speak. And so what this whole first part is about, I don't know, and it seems to be a hodgepodge, different things. Seems like he was beginning to get into uh, operant conditioning in a more clicker sense, but that's not carried throughout the book. There's different uh, tricks listed, but they're not detailed, they're not sequentially structured, much like many other books have done. Uh, there's not a progression either. He always talks about the dog should be obedience trained. It would be nice if he had included that in the book because uh, he has several other books. Uh, I have those books also as part of the background for somebody of my qualifications would have most everybody's books and he doesn't cover it anywhere. So the, the basic sit down, stand, uh, stay, recall, that sort of thing is not ever covered by him or healing really is not covered by him. It should be. Um, I gotta say that his daughter has uh, tried to promote him as the most influential dog trainer in the United States. Untrue. <laughs> Extremely untrue. I uh, didn't influence as many people as William Cooler and then in the business he didn't match Frank Ann, didn't match Lee Duncan, didn't match Tremble, didn't match uh, uh, the weather waxes Frank or Rudd at all and Carl Miller all oh, those are huge names in the business and the movie business and redefined the dog training business and as far as doing things before ahead of time Lee Duncan uh, was incredibly uh, ahead of most everybody Rudd Weatherwax is very impressed with him and of course Rudd employed Frank Frank Ann, there's, there's Henry East, but Henry East was a movie prop guy who hired Frank Ann. And anyway, there's a lot of other things I'll cover on my overall view, but what about this book? What can I say? There are some ideas that are listed, but the outcomes are there, but the structure is not there. That one of the reasons why uh, Kuhler's book, or Kohler, or Keeler, most people call him, but really in German it was Kuhler, which he changed. Um, and he's one of the people that uh, trace back to Conrad most through Carl Spitz, who I'll cover, and uh, another guy, Yosef, that I will cover too, that all wrote books and were, and were important. But I also got to say, to say that he influenced modern professional dog training, well, the first professional dog trainers in the United States were bird dog trainers. And the methods that they used, most of these people don't know anything. They don't know anything about what they did. And back in the 1800s, there was a lot of people who were using what, quote unquote, what positive ideology people would like to say they were doing, although far more result oriented than following an ideology only. And the same, Lee Duncan did this when he went to movies. Fatty Arbuckle with the, uh, the, the pit bull Luke. Impressive stuff, impressive stuff. And when Fatty died, Buster Keaton took the dog and used him in his movies. Incredible work was being done way back over a hundred years ago and to say that he influenced things so modern obedience was influenced by by uh, by uh, uh, Saunders basically and and her sponsor uh, Walker, so She's what funded it and so you have all these other trainers afterwards Once the AKC started with their mafia style pressuring of registries and purebreds only uh, of what training should be like the names changed for different positions. Uh, bird dog trainers were not calling it down at all. They weren't calling it uh, sit so much. There's uh, many things that changed and became standardized with the AKC. And then people start making obedience books based off of AKC. You'll find loads of them. They're trying to train pet dogs, but then it was always towards a sport thing. And then in modern days, you find it towards agility or maybe tricks. But 
The movie dog training is far more than trick training, far more than circus training. It's a dog has to act like a dog. That is extremely difficult to do. That's why Rudd Weatherwax was insanely good to do that with uh, Pal, the original Lassie. Uh, other people, Frank Barnes, when he took over uh, Rin Tin Tin for the TV series in the 50s, another great trainer. But anyway, what about this book? Can I recommend it? Yeah, I had to read it to see things, but it's not going to give you the details. And it jumps around. Sometimes he talks about using clickers, but it's not through the book. This is a hodgepodge of things. The entire idea about the talking is, I don't know why it's there. It, it, it takes away detracts from the book. It's impossible to do. It's physiologically impossible for a dog to make human sounds. It cannot be done. And looking for that is just another anthropomorphic projection trying to get canines to act like primates. That is not true. Anyway, so that's what I can say about this. He's written other, the other books. I may cover them. Uh, his other trick book that he did was based more on mechanical means. This one does have some, like I say, clicker style. Uh, he got into Bailey for a while, but Bailey never really worked with dogs. Uh, neither did the Braylons, really. So uh, that's something that Gary Wilkes has pointed out many times. But to know about all this stuff, you have to have a deep, deep knowledge. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to give you my years and decades of experience in, uh, from sled dogs to, to war dogs, to bird dogs, to hunting dogs, to boar dogs, to gulag dogs, to anti-poaching dogs, all these dogs. Few people have ever trained that many types of dogs on three continents from the Arctic to the jungle since 1974. I have. So that's why I bring this expertise to you to show you that movie dog trainers are incredibly good. It's one of the hardest things, if not the hardest, uh, along with, uh, with some tactical dog training. It is insanely difficult. A Benji, for example, with Frank in, insane insane what he could do with that dog. In the original Benji movie, it's insanity how, how good that is. But it's not here. <laughs> it's not in here how to do that. There's a lot left out. It's not detailed enough for a beginning trainer to be able to use this effectively. So, I can't recommend it. If you're trying to be, if you want to get into movie training, can't recommend this book. There are others I will recommend and I have recommended and I'll cover some more. So check it out in the movie genre. Anyway, so here I am. This is Christoph Clugson. Oh, like, subscribe, and share because my dog training channel is far more different than anyone else's on YouTube because I'm covering all these things and doing book reviews. I'm talking about dog training. These other people don't know. The vet dog trainers don't know. The wannabe Cesar Milan's don't know anything about this. They don't go far, as far back. They don't know about the training before the 1990s when the pet dog uh, explosion happened. And I just got to put that out there because that, that taints everything and, and prejudices everything that people say because they don't know. They don't know about the evolution. They don't know. And they say, well, things happened and Ken Karen Pryor is responsible. Karen Pryor is far behind what circus dog trainers were doing a hundred years before her, or movie dog trainers were doing. They just never looked. They just, you know, basically were incapable of doing their research. Anyway, so stay tuned. Uh, check out some of the other, I've got tutorials, I've got inspirational things on here. I'm showing you training with different dogs. Take the three dog challenge. I don't see anybody taking that. This is much harder than just trying to pull off trick training with your border collie, with your German Shepherd, or your Malinois, or your Labrador, or your Golden Retriever. Much more difficult. One try, no rehearsals. That's it. Boom. Zing. Three dog challenge. Take it.